You film it? Now only, really, yes. Okay. So I was just saying, if um, back to the lens a bit, um, if you want to do an ankle really in, easily and simply, this is the way to do it. Um, the inside of the ankle under on a padded surface, and your hand will just fall, fall naturally mm -hmm. right into the um, cup of the joint here, around the ankle bone, goes right into this is where I am. Hmm. I'm getting work too, you know. Mm -hmm. Ankle burn, ankle burn bones, working on my thumb muscle there. So then you can give that pressure for as long as you want. You can also pad it a bit. You can also put a knee into it. Mm -hmm. Do it correctly. See that? Oh wow! See that? Yeah. So by compression, you allow for expansion. It happens naturally. Yeah. By definition, it's not compression either. No. Yeah. It's just pressure. Uh -huh. No compression happens. Uh -huh. Unless you have a lung full of air. Ah. And you hold the breath and then they press into you. Then you will be compressing the air uh -huh. in your lungs. Now that's a special kind of work. Don't fuck no, up that. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were to uh, limbs, was it? Limbs? Yeah, we were going to do limbs. We did limbs. We did limbs. We did yeah. hips. Third yeah. session is what? Yeah. Head. I mean. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is limbs. Okay. So what we're adding now is the head. Yeah. You have a neck issue. And not anymore. But well, we'll put it this way. Yeah. You mentioned it. Yeah. So there's an issue there. You must first and foremost protect your neck. Yeah. While we're dancing. Yeah. And learn to use your head as a limb. Right. And not hurt your neck. Yes. Okay. I will show you how to use the head as a limb. Yes. On you, like a dog uh -huh. would do. Okay. So I'll be using my head. It's a really special way of working. Hmm. It really is cool because it gets very infant-like and, hmm. and um, has all kinds of issues. By the way, this work touches um, every level of your emotion, it whole does. body, every level of your historical body. And probably ancestral body, and probably <laughs> metaphysical body. <laughs> Past life issues come up. Yeah. I've been dancing with people, and suddenly it's yeah. like, oh my God, we died together on the battlefield, you know? And he was yeah. like, this is just really, yeah, this is oh. one of my clients. He died, he was dying, and we were together. He was my buddy, and we were both dying, right? And so he's dying, and I'm over to him while he's dying, and I fall asleep on him. Mm. And I actually ended up smothering him to death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one of those, yeah. You know, those crazy body things that suddenly here I am with this past life memory coming up. I don't know if it was him or not. Yeah. But it was like, I, I did that somewhere. At some time I died. I fell asleep on my partner who was dying, my friend, my buddy, who was mortally wounded. Mm -hmm. And I, I suffocated <laughs> because I fell asleep. And I woke up and he was dead. So it touches every level. Yeah, you get to feel deeply. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use my head now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he really? Isn't that cute? Isn't that sweet? You just gave me your head. <laughs> so I'm going to talk while we do this, okay? So there might be a little bit of a description of mm -hmm. what you're actually seeing, which is the heads are connected solidly. We're connected in our heads. Our head and neck connection is very important to us, mm -hmm. it seems to be. And I love underneath my knee there, my ear there, like, it feels like, ah. Mm -hmm. You know, you get the, those bottom muscles right underneath mm -hmm. your knee with the head. The head is really good tool to work on the head with. Right. Head head work is awesome. And I am part Aries. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the ram. Awesome. Oh, I'm dealing with a mm. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what are you, what, are you an ungulate or what are you? You have the colon hoof, you're a form of goat. You're a form of goat is what you are, uh, right? Yeah. I love that neck, that head right at the base of my skull. Uh-huh. Feels really good right there. It's nice to have a partner who's big and strong, thank you, mm -hmm. for having a big body, you know? I'll ask my brothers to do this. They're six foot six. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, um, where have you been all my life, my dear friend? <laughs> this is not a sexual thing. It's like, I love your body. Yeah. It's very useful to me. <laughs> you know, um, that brings up an issue, you know, in terms of partners. Uh -huh. You end up just adoring each other and loving each other. Yeah. Whether, whatever sex you are, 
and it doesn't matter what your sexuality is, you just don't have sex when you're having dance. Right. right? And so you get this incredible love for your partner's body and them, and it's a total friendship. And it's like you have more than one of these things going on at the same time. Yeah. Ten fucking dance relationships. Like, oh my god. And then that, How and lucky that, is it becomes this? a whole city. And it is. It becomes the whole world. Yeah. Right. And so we are infecting, not infecting, we're, we're in, uh, inspiring. We're doing working through inspiration, whether it be breath or but the inspiration of sight or the inspiration of actual physical contact. See, this is like, we didn't figure this out. We didn't decide to do this. It's just like he's doing it. And I'm like, okay. Sound feels good to me. Oh. So, I'm going to say a few things. Like, once upon a time, I was dancing where I dance all the time. Uh -huh. And this very cute, intelligent, amazing young woman came along giving me free hugs. Uh -huh. And I was like enthralled. She was like super intelligent. She was just really cool. And all these hugs is a good sign, you know? Yeah. And so I started dancing with her. And I showed her basically the shit that we're doing right now. Give her stuff. And she was tight. Turn me on to it, you know? Oh, yeah. And so I like really danced with her a lot for a while. And then I quit because I didn't want to be associated with young, cute girls, right? That's what, what, he, what is he doing with that young girl all the time? He'll mess with her and go and all over. So I left her alone for a while. I like ignored her. Yeah. And then she kept sticking around. She kept to, to disappear. She was still around. She was still around. And she was still around. And I said, oh, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to dance with her because she's so good. Right. So then that happened, and we just totally downloaded everything into each okay. back and forth. And so we can one, she's like super, super contact improv dancer, partner, and person for me. Yeah. And I've been doing this all my life. Oh, that's how it goes. And this is what I do all the time. And this is an awesome position. This is what I do all the time. Yeah. And. It's my work. That's what I do all the time. It's my medicine. <laughs> and I'm just twisting around in this way. You know, one way to really get somebody is like this going all fours, but often they'll be on all fours. You know, and what you do is go on all fours. Going on all fours. Yeah. What you do is you just grab, you hook one leg. Yeah. And then what you basically have here is a twisted um, hook. Yeah. And if I go like this, and I start to wrap myself around. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. See how that works? Oh yeah. Okay, now you've hooked me as well. As soon as I hook you, you've hooked me. Right. So you can do the same thing to me. So let's just go this way. So then, who's doing it? Is it you or is it me? It doesn't matter. You know, it's hooked. Right. It seems it's kind of intimate, you know, but you have to be able to hook the leg to really have fun. Now maybe as we finish up, some some more passive or still. Okay. Uh, Got it. He's already signaling just by just that statement that he has hit his limit. And he wants the rest of it. <laughs> he yeah. He's probably yeah. trembling all over because this is basically new information coming into the system. Okay. Okay, we Just do what you want now. Just lean use that. Right. Like that, yeah. And when you are in these stillness positions, it's time, depending on your relationship, to do what we call extracurricular work, uh -huh. which is, you know, just being in their body for them, with them, you know, doing the terrain, yeah. letting them know that you know where they are, you know, what you can do, can't do. It's like checking out the territory. Yeah. What can I do here while we're like um, stretching his back exactly. and I can work on his third eye for a second, you know? 
just find the out and his body starts to trust it. My hands know how to um, map without being too invasive mm -hmm. or hurting anything. So, he's mapped. He's mapped. Again, turning that socket in. Wait, my, my house will come up. I'm going to take you. <laughs> and in this position, again, if I wish. Now, I could be facing your hips. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I'm facing your head. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Watch what I do. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! -ho. <laughs> I'm going to come to Boa. There we go. See, that's not the ultimate moves. Yeah. Right there. <sighs> oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, no. Okay, so I hit your limit. Yeah. It's good to reach, don't you think? <laughs> I'm impressed that you can yeah. do that. Hey, so that's what we did. <laughs> we can really um, give it some three dimensional core training. Yeah, yeah, needed. Three dimensional core training. <sighs> mm -hmm. And I train all the time for this. Yeah. I train for flexibility in my hips. Yeah, you, you must have some sort of strength routine. After um, lots of doing this, you find out favorite positions that seem to work really nice. Mm -hmm. Like this one. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, that's a sense. Give them that, you know parenting touch or that loving touch or something. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. I have been privileged to do, you know, this hands-on massage for years, so mm -hmm. little details don't befall me. No. so quick to raise your head. Yeah. yeah. In fact, never raise your head. Ah. Always have your head down. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Slide off if you want. Or roll off. But don't raise your head. Good suggestion. Bad habit. Yeah. Good. You just left it. Mm -hmm. See? There's no place we're going. Mm -hmm. Just slowly. And let's accentuate this for you just for the hell of it. Since, um, okay, stay there right there. Bring your left leg up. Thank you. There. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so that leaves, leaves the pressure off your sacrum. It totally does. Lumbar. It's not as intense. And you get to stretch one side, maybe, if you right. mm -hmm. Proportion of weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, my right thigh is being totally worked on. Right oh, now. yeah. I'm going to turn you back. Back here. See that balance? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> even, even better. Yeah, it's not kind of an accident, but that's what's happening. Oh! Invented as you speak. <laughs> it's incredible. You left leg, okay. That's what's awesome about it. It's getting a stretch into the groin. Yeah. And me? Mm -hmm. So, um, if we're still filming, you 
see is something I've never done before, for example. Good body to work with, and it's just a nice way to support the ribs. Mm -hmm. I mean, the hips. And I'm working on the chest at the same time. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. You quit? Mm hmm. You have to write this one down. This is awesome. Tell me, tell me what you like about it. You can take it. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's, it's like, it happens and then it unhappens. That's <laughs> a good way to. I, I think I'll remember it. Well, yeah, it, it felt like I was the, the chocolate chip to the cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to keep going? And cut.